Hello, hello. This is KHTS co-news director Jade Abishan, and I'm here today with Santa Clarita Congressman Mike Garcia. How are you doing today, Mike? Hey, Jade. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Good. It's always good to hear you, if not see you. So let's jump right into it. Today's going to be kind of a short interview. You're going to give some insight into the ongoing supply chain crisis, which is most visible via the backlog at the Port of Los Angeles right here. What's going on? Yeah, so this has been a problem actually that's been in development for quite some time. Obviously, a lot of this is uh, induced by COVID and some of the restrictions put on travel and shipping, uh, international shipping primarily. Most of this is coming from China. Uh, but what I don't think most Americans realize is that about 40 percent of all shipped goods into the United States actually comes through Los Angeles and Long Beach uh, harbors. Uh, so we, we are actually probably the most critical node in the supply chain uh, nationwide. Uh, and this is going to start getting aggravated, obviously, with the holidays coming up. But we've got a backlog of goods just floating off the coast right now, Los Angeles and Long Beach in the form of dozens of ships. Uh, this is this is being aggravated by the fact that our state in, has, has not only been slow to open, uh, but it's also uh, a byproduct of a bill called AB5 that at the state level was passed a few years ago. Uh, if you recall, Jay, this, this AB5 bill was, a, was an initiative that uh, was developed in, in Sacramento that prevents independent contractors from operating as independent contractors and it actually forces them to become what is called full-time employees. Uh, and, and in California, there's a lot of industries that were affected. This was like freelance uh, photographers, artists, radios, uh, newspapers, Uber and Lyft were probably the most high-profile companies that were affected by this AB5 uh, bill. Uh, and it turns out that the truckers and a lot of the shipping uh, companies that are associated with uh, the harbors in our area – are also getting hammered by AB5. And so what we've seen is actually a lot of uh, trucking companies leave the state, a lot of independent contractors leave for other states because they want to continue to operate as independent contractors. And so while the ships are floating off the coast and they're finally getting offloaded into our harbors, the, the, the next problem that we're seeing uh, real time now today is that these containers, once they're off the ships, have nowhere to go because there's no truckers to take them there. Um, and, and then when you combine... Uh, this legislation in Sacramento called CARB, which actually re requires truckers to effectively buy new trucks uh, to stay compliant with these emission standards, uh, you have right now just a complete lack of uh, truckers available to move this hardware. So uh, this is a bit of a, a perfect storm and, and a byproduct of the unintended consequences of, of state legislation being you know, now coupled up with federal regulations and, and COVID. Uh, that is that is it's absolutely going to devastate the supply chains uh, as we as we head into uh, December here. So you're seeing nothing on the shelves in your local stores. You're seeing uh, back order of pretty much anything that we order online. Uh, this is a, a reminder of how important it is to buy America and to become less dependent on China as our primary supply supplier to our nation but also pay attention to our regulations uh, at the state and federal levels to make sure that we're actually incentivizing people to move product uh, rather than penalizing them to move product. Uh, and, 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 of course, all of these initiatives also add cost, uh, which is uh, now you know, manifesting in the form of staggering inflation nationwide as well. So uh, we, we've got to keep working on this problem. Unfortunately, this president right now is doing things in the wrong direction. He's actually – uh, looking to find people who leave their containers there too long rather than incentivizing them to move them out. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, this problem is going to actually get worse in the next several weeks before it gets better, in my opinion, and, and we're going to have to keep an eye on it. But uh, uh, we're doing everything we can at the federal level to try to incentivize businesses to reopen, uh, to lower the, the, the mandates here and get people back to work and actually uh, start moving product nationwide. But uh, we do need to pay attention and look at what we're buying and, and where it's coming from. Well, thank you, Mike. That was great. Uh, we'll definitely be asking you more about this, I believe, in about two weeks. Right now, we're running a little short on time. Thank you so much for calling in. Is there anything else you'd like to share for us in the next couple of minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, We're continuing to fight the fight on tax and uh, spend policies out here in D.C. Uh, you know, we started this, this administration under this White House off by with them making promises that they weren't going to raise the tax on families making less than $400,000, and, and I can assure you that uh, that promise has been broken in the form of these infrastructure bills and these uh, these massive $5.3 trillion spending bills. 
this is going to come on the back of the average American worker, the middle class uh, blue collar workers who are struggling to make ends meet in California. Uh, and uh, that's the fight we're fighting uh, real time this week and next. So uh, looking forward to uh, uh, of towing the line and making sure that we're fighting against these uh, tax increases and hopefully keeping as much money in our pocket so that we can stay in California and hopefully not let California's policy speak to the national level. So thanks again, Jade, for having me, and uh, looking forward to the next time. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon, Mike. For all of our listeners out there, you'll be able to read more about Congressman Garcia and what he's been up to in Washington and is up to in Washington right this very second over on our website at hometownstation.com or on social media at KHTS Radio.